What's up, Kim Foods? This is Kim Chu. And Tofu. Yeah. yeah! Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode Number 19, The Basement. We're gonna find out what's in the basement. Inside of the basement, finally. I just really hope we're not disappointed with what's we're gonna find down there. We're gonna find out the truth about the Titan, where Titans came from and why all the truth is in there. Under the dad's basement. In the dad's basement. Under the dad's basement will be under the basement of the basement, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, never mind. We're gonna, in the basement, guys. Sorry, my English. But guys, thank you guys for joining Kim Chin Tofu. Let's go and check what's under the basement. Yeah. Ja. Damn, dude. Colossal summoning like this. Oh, this is a flashback. Just him popping out destroys the whole town. Oh. <gasps> this is Bert Holt? Oh shoot, he probably has no- Oh my god, he has no idea what's going on. Oh, that's like Bert Holt crying! <coughs> Excuse Bless me, you. sorry. Right? Yeah. But why is he crying? Because it hurts. Holy cow, those abs. Oh, oh Sasha! Oh, Sasha! Yeah. Sasha. She, Sasha! Oh, she's saying it hurts, so he must have just dreamt that in his dream. Oh, so that's what Sasha was saying, but he was hearing it in Berthold's voice? Maybe. Wow, she's in really bad shape. Yeah, Armin has no idea what happened. The same thing that had happened with Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Who's going to tell him? Oh, Aaron, tell him everything. Oh, lighting out the flare to let him know he's up. Yeah, it's probably like saying Armin woke up or something. Probably. Or be on alert. <gasps> oh, shoot. He just found out. Yeah, he's shocked. Armin's face is so cute. Right? Man. Wow, no dude. Survivors. Nine. Only nine out of everybody. Oh, they even told him about this part? <laughs> he's like blow, throw, about to throw up. He probably tastes a birth out still. I don't blame him. This whole situation is sickening. Yeah, even Armin's like, you should have picked Erwin, not me. Yeah. Yeah, they fought for him so hard. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it was Levi at the end of the day who chose who. Now that Commander's gone, it's Armin's turn to take the torch. What about Hanji? She's too much of an experimental person, right? I don't know. I think Armin will be a lot better. Erwin is the one that trusted Levi to make the choice. So Erwin will still be happy that he picked Armin. Because he trusted Levi. I so. trust Levi's decision as well. Don't be like the next Erwin. Be yeah. the original Armin. Be another great leader. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. She going to talk about potatoes? <laughs> I love how Hanji's the only one laughing. She's like the closest one to Sasha, or Sasha closest one to her. Yeah. It's crazy how like Armin's even not really into I'm a Titan. It's more of it should have been Erwin or something, right? Yes. It's not, it's not really phased by he's a Titan right now. No. Oh man, they're going back home. Oh. Everything leading up to this point. So many lives lost just to get to this point, right? Yeah. Oh, they're gonna just run down, just go straight down memory lane right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's, yep. <clears throat> yeah, because, like, they haven't been back home since they were little, remember? What is this from my ReZero? Like, there. Man, it's such like a eerie feeling going back home like this. Oh, I remember this from the one of the first episodes. Yeah. Oh, there's the mother. Oh. And there's the house. He sees it. Oh yeah, this is the part when they see the mom getting eaten. Mm-hmm. And they've grown up and came back. Oh, wow. This, whose shoes is that? Yeah. This, is that the mom's? I guess it's the dad's. 
I thought it was the mom because like her when she's getting eaten, the shoe probably fell off or something. Yeah, it's too big to be a woman's shoe though. Yeah, you would know that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a pretty key. cool scene when uh, they did a flashback and the thing together. Yeah. Oh, here's the basement. Here we go. Ooh. It's still here we go. Yes, let's go. <sighs> it's like it's been waiting just for them. What if there's like mini titans and like capsules and stuff? <laughs> I hope not. That's going to be really strange. All right, here we go. What happened? The key doesn't work? What the oh, heck? Oh, wait, the key doesn't work. For the, it's not for the door. Yeah, just kick it down. Oh. <laughs> Freaking Levi is just like, move. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Oh. It's like a office. It's, it's so clean looking. Or like a laboratory. Yeah. Well, now they can stock up on medicines here too. Now there's got to be some kind of chest here or some secret door in here that... His key works on. There's got to be something with hiding down here. Probably behind the bookshelf. We got to see hidden bookshelf. Nah, that's too cliche. No. <laughs> yeah, Come it is. On. It's too cliche. What's this? <gasps> Under there. Oh, there's a keyhole on the drawer. Oh, shoot. That's the one. That's the one. Ooh. Come on, show us. There's nothing. No. What the heck? Did somebody steal something? Oh, it's under. Uh, so it looks like there's nothing, but he hid it under. He's super sneaky. Oh, he kept these books well preserved. What's in this? The secret of Titans. Come on. Oh, we're finally getting to find out. Well, I mean, they gotta read it first, though. Who's that? A picture. Wait, so does this mean, like, there might be more people outside? It is believed. So is this the history books? Wait, the royal government issues the books, so it's, like, controlled. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't even think they know that he's dead yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, now they're gonna know. They're gonna know now. Look at the celebration. It, d I don't. Oh my gosh. They don't know what like. They just oh, went through. What? What? Yeah, what they went through. Did they not see how many people they left with and how many people came back? <sighs> no, it's a photograph. Oh my god! They don't even know that it's a drawing. Uh, I mean, a uh, uh, picture. This is no illustration instead of using... They don't know it's a picture, so it's a... They don't have photography here? It's a... But the photograph is a technology. Yeah! I come from an outside place? Walls where humanity lives in elegance. Humanity was not perished. Is this another family of his? For the person who finds this book is a fellow patriot. So he had another family outside the walls? Wait, what? 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 Wait, who was that though? Th no, that was that Jaeger on the picture? Yeah, that was Jaeger. That, that was him on the that picture. That was the doctor. Another woman Eden? and a baby. No. That's not Eden, yeah? No. The Beast Titan? No, the Beast Titan is too old. No. Hold on, we'll, let's, we'll finish this and then we'll look, look back on it. Faye? Whose name is Faye? Grisha. Grisha. The dad. The dad, yeah. Whoa, what armband is this? Everyone's wearing this armband. It's like something... Whoa. Blip? What? <laughs> Wait, it's so... just like Aaron. They were uh, technologically advanced. Oh, so they're like uh, the poor family. Wait. What? Wait, they couldn't leave the walls either here. What? Oh, oh, oh. Let's go look at the, the the picture real quick. This is a blonde hair. 
What this is showing is that he had a family outside of the walls. Yes, and that's the, so that has to be the Beast Titan then because he's blonde. When they're wearing the armband in his story and they have airships, their wall is protecting them. It's not technically the same wall as right now wall. Do no. you know? Yeah. Okay, so their wall is basically, remember when the security was out there guarding? Yes. That's the wall that they can't cross. It's a, it's a, it's the inside of their own town that they can't pass the wall. But they seem to be more, uh, far more advanced compared to the walls that Aaron's growing up, grew up in. Yeah, that's what, there's technology and also this photograph, uh, photograph or something, photography or something, right? In the walls that he grew up in. And then his kind of, you know what, his reminds me of like, you know, Germany when they had the red bands. Yeah, 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 And all yeah. sorts of stuff. That's what it kind of, I like get a reminder. Like they're like prisoning, they have prisoners. Yeah, like an, enca an yeah, encampment. in a camp. And then it's interesting how the kids say that we'll never get rich, they're poor. So it, what is this? There's like, um. Royalty class. Yes. Uh. People. Or a upper class. The whole Irwin's theory about there being humans outside of these walls entrapped. Entrapped, right. They're caged right. in and they're being controlled, like Irwin was saying, by the royal government. That's why they give them the books. They're being held there for a Brainwashed. What, brainwashed, brainwashed so, yeah. held there for whatever reason. And they can't go outside of these walls because of their own needs that need met here. And I don't know what that is. Mr. Jaeger is fighting for freedom. Oh, equality, freedom. Equality. Freedom and equality. Oh. Right? Yes. That's what he wants. Equality yes. and freedom. Because he's a patriot. Because he says he comes from a town full of elegance. And then he's trying to bring down the walls of Maria. He wants to combine, unite everybody. Yeah, he wants everyone united instead of separating people. Segregating them. Yes, putting them in different sectors. He wants everyone to be together. And that's what they show at the end clip with his sister. He wants to show her the, the air yeah. the airboats or whatever. She's like, oh, we'll never be rich because they're segregated as well. And I think what's going to happen is at the end this is all disrupted everything's gonna come back and what is it Aaron and Armin is gonna go back and then we're, now we're gonna have a war with uh, the this other place the the higher class the higher class this is just yeah this is gonna cause a war this is gonna cause chaos I mean he's trying to bring down the system but is that a good thing or is it a bad thing maybe you can bring people together to unite but I don't think this is a way to do it how would you feel finding out you're in the lowest, the poorest, class. civilist, yeah, class. Finding out that you're in the lowest class, that you are being separated from other people. There is more people, but living more lavishly than you. How would you feel finding that out? Thinking that you were the only people, but instead you're the one that was put entrapped in somewhere and being treated very poorly because you're in a poor. Of course, everyone's going to lash out in anger. This, they're not going to, it's not going to be peaceful. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, they're going to lash out in anger. And that's what I think that's what we're going to be seeing. And I think uh, they're starting to see that uh, the Maria and all this town is just getting more ambitious and more curious that they, they're like, dude, we got to take them down now before they get bigger and stronger. Yes. And they create a bigger rebellious group. That's why. You're right. That's why. That's why they have the Titans. That's why the Titans are coming. You just hit it on the pinpoint. Right. Because you remember the, the Beast Titan said, or not the Beast Titan, Bert Holt said that they had to kill everybody in here because they needed to stop this. Hearing that, that means that they are scared that because of what his dad did, it is going to cause a war and they don't want that to happen. They want to keep the, the system that they have, so they'd rather just kill them all off. The people that are curious about the knowledge, you know, starting to want to know more. They're just trying Curiosity. to cut that off and just keep what they have going. So it's like they're the protectors. They are the protectors. They're controlling it. Ah, that's why they're the war. That's why that is why Reiner and Berthold is like, this is what we have to do because they got their own people to protect. Yes. So that's They're so, the spies. Okay, so here it is. So it goes both ways. Yes. You can't look at Berthold and Reiner as a bad people. No. They're protecting... What they have. What they have. And these guys are protecting what... These guys think that they are protecting humanity. But what they don't know is that the the more curious and the more ambitious these guys get, the more dangerous these guys will get. Yes. And it's going to ruin the capital or wherever it is. Yes. And that's why Reiner and Berthold is so passionate or, or whatever, saying that we're warriors. We're here to protect. Yes. Uh, we we got to make sure that no, uh, the whole, I guess, the main elegant royal place is protected. Yes. And that is why they have to do this mission 
Yes. Uh, to make take him out, but since we only know Aaron's story, yes, and we only still see their history, we're like, no, it's D- Reiner and Berthold's the bad guys. Uh huh. They got they're rogues. They're rogues, and that's why the Beast Titan also is saying that you're being brainwashed, and these guys are the dangerous ones. Yes. That's why he's saying they're the dangerous ones because these guys, the more curious and the more uh, ambitious they get, they're gonna rise up and they're gonna attack. Yes. And they need to control that. Yes. And so do that. Uh, with that being said, on top of that, that means outside of these walls where his dad came from, they have more of these potions uh, of, you know, giving them the Titans abilities. What is it? The special Titans? Yeah. Uh, becoming the special Titans, which protect the walls and then control the Titans that know no knowledge or have these special abilities. So they can create more easily, but it's just a matter of creating the right ones. That's the only thing I can think of, though, yeah. is that Berthold and Reiner are the ones that's trying to protect the actual big city. And um, No, they are. They are, right? Yes. So it's like they're not really bad. They just, Reiner and Berthold just went through hell just to protect their own people. Yeah, their own people, what they grew up in, knowing, you know, what knowledge that they have. and Their background. Yes. It's like maybe at a certain age they have to go... Um, they have to become these warriors or whatever, yeah. and then once they fight for it, then they come back. They can come back. I, I mean, don't it's know. like the same thing equivalent as saying that you're probably grown, uh, like you're raised in uh, you know this country, right? You yes. have all this, and to protect this country, you go drafted into becoming a you spy. You get drafted. Yes. You get drafted, and you're just trying to protect what's over here. Yes. And you go out to the war. Yes. And they might. They obviously gonna look at you as the bad guy. Yes. Because they, you know, it, it's politics, basically. Yes, it is. That's, it that's is. exactly what it is. And you only get the knowledge that the government tells you, and you just believe that, and you go with it, and you act upon what they tell you. Exactly. And I think Berthold and Reiner are definitely, if this is true, that they are doing, putting themselves through hell just to protect the royal, the city and stuff, I, I can't blame Reiner. And, I mean... I can't blame them, but at the same time, uh, this just makes it even more and more sickening. Like, they're they're keeping these people in by killing people with eating them, like, becoming that's true, a, that's in this true, that's form. Different. Like, yeah, why do mind. they have to use never mind. this type? Violence. Yeah, why do they have to use that's this true. war tactic, this government tactic to keep them inside the walls? Why that's can't they true. find something else? That's actually true. Uh, they could do a better, I mean, they I mean, keep, this is yeah. a way violent way. Yeah, it's got. I mean, maybe there's more reason to why they can't just do full out war humans to humans. Why they have to use Titan? Yeah. Yeah, maybe Titan is just like a weapon. Like you know, every country has a weapon, like Secret a nuclear. Weapon. Yeah. Like a nuclear weapon, and I think uh, having a Titan is is a strength. Is part of a strength. It, yeah. Oh yes. You know. Yes. Saying so strength, and now that these guys are starting to create their own nuclear weapon, it's becoming a problem. Yes. Right. Yes. Because the U.S. If any other country tries making nuclear, U.S. will be right on it and be like making sure that they don't, you know, mm-hmm. you know, it's a big thing when a country can create something like that. Same thing with Naruto. Same thing. Each each country, each village has its own beast. It's they have their own beast. And if another village has a beast or they tame another beast then it becomes a problem because it becomes a threat. The more powerful you get, the more of a threat you become. I think that's just human uh, thing, huh? Yeah. It's like, you know, we always got to make sure that we got to be the strongest to be safe. Yeah, you got to be the strongest. If you want to be safe, you have to be at the top of the food chain. That's just it. That's survival instinct. You got to have the biggest guns. You do. Or the biggest titan. Like I said, now this story is just becoming really... Now my eyes to... What I see, vision of Attack on Titan has just completely changed now. Yes, it's the like veil a, has been lifted. It, it feels like we're watching a different anime starting now. Yeah, I I 100% right? agree with you. Yes, it's changed. Sometimes you wish you don't know some things. <laughs> I wish I didn't know now. Yeah, yeah. It's there's like, holy things, crap, yeah, politics. There's some things better off to just not know. Yes. But now that we know, it's like now my vision for Attack on Titan has completely changed. It, it's, it's completely new. It's not just Titan. Sorry, babe. It's not an Isekai world. <laughs> yeah, it's not an Isekai world, guys. I'm pretty sad about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But all right, guys. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time for Attack on Titans. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.